सो हेलो एवरी वन वन सेकेंड वेलकम टू नेचर एंड नेचर बाय सो टुडे आई एम इन वन ऑफ द इटालियन गार्डन एंड वी कैन सी दिस ब्यूटिफुल क्यू प्रोसेस सो बोटानिकली इट इज क्यू प्रोसेस सेम्पर वाइनस एंड द सेम्पर वाइनस इज अ लैटिन वर्ड विच मीन्स एवर ग्रीन सो दिस प्लांट रिवेन एवर ग्रीन थ्रू आउट द ईयर इन एस्पेक्टिव ऑफ द सीजन सो फ्रेंड्स नाउ लेट्स एक्सप्लोर दिस ब्यूटिफुल इटालियन प्लांट It is commonly known as Italian cypress around the world but to be surprised it is not originated in Italy actually it is originated from Iran and Mediterranean region because of this origin it is also known as Mediterranean cypress or Persian cypress it is an evergreen medium size coniferous tree it can grow up to 35 meter in height as you can see here and in some older species it can also grow more than 50 meter in height and they are always in pyramidal or conical in shape because of this shape this is also known as pencil pine and when coming for landscaping uses it is mainly used as an specimen tree in the garden or as a line plantation in the landscape or sometime it is also used as a wind break in general this tree is zero maintenance plant but we have to be very careful while pruning the tree we should not remove the head otherwise it is very difficult to regrow its branches and now let's talk about its wood actually its wood is gray brown in color as you can see with long fissures we can see and it is very hard because of this reason it is mainly used for furniture construction and this wood is very durable because it have a strong scent which helps to prevent it from moths fungi and other parasitic bacteria and other stuff and if you are planting this tree beside your house then make sure that there is a minimum of 5 meter distance from the center of the tree to the house because its roots are very strong so that if you not maintain this distance it will damage your wall and the space between plant to plant keep minimum 3 meter of distance maximum it depends on you but do not plant less than 3 meter because if you plant less than 3 meter then there will be competition for food light and other stuff between plant to plant so now let's see its fruits actually we can see there are a number of fruits they are falling on the ground so these are fruits they are small spherical in shape and they took 2 years of time to mature from the fertilization to the maturation period it's 2 years and actually we should not call it as a fruit actually the conifer seeds they are called as a cone so now let's get a zoom in and let's see its leaf how does it look from the nearby so as you can see the leaves they are like uh, different layers of tissue they are accumulated and they are looking like as that of leaf and you can see the flower and here we can see the fruit i think it is one year of age because it take two year of time to get mature and the most common disease this cupressus will suffer from the dieback disease in dieback the plant will start drying from the top to the base as we can see here it is easily getting dry and for example i will show here here you can see the half of the plant get dried and half remained green so in this case the whole plant will die So in general the cupressus does not require any special pruning but you can prune it from the base for 1 or 2 meter to make it clear for the pedestrian or to have like safety so it totally depends on you and you can see the number of branches they are go- growing upward and many people will get confused between pine and cupressus see both pine and cupressus both are coniferous but they are totally different for example as you can see this plant it is a pine plant so with the bark we can easily differentiate pine and cupressus for example if you search in youtube you will get number of uh, videos who can easily differentiate pine and cupressus but i like this sound and other interesting why i put this video because i when i saw up we can see a clear differentiation between plant to plant they are not touching their branches are not touching with each other so which are looking very fascinating so i just captured it and i'm just showing to you if you see the sky view which is really super good especially in the pine and one thing i forget to mention because these cupressus they are mainly planted near the cemetery or graveyard of both christian and muslims people